the nervous system. The body acts as a coordinated mechanism with a communication system we all take for granted. The body's internal electrochemical communications network is called the nervous system and its main parts are the brain, the spinal cord, and the nerves. The brain and the spinal cord form the central nervous system, the body's chief controlling and coordinating centers. The human brain has two main divisions, the cerebrum and the cerebellum. The activity of the cerebrum is concerned with thought, memory, sensation, judgment, reason, and the management of any activity we commonly consider to be under the control of our will. The cerebellum's chief functions are the maintenance of balance, harmony, and the coordination of the motions initiated by the cerebrum. The spinal cord is a column of nervous tissue that extends two-thirds of the way down the backbone and provides a pathway to the brain. Major peripheral nerves branch out from the cord to serve every organ and every part of the body. By sending and receiving impulses along the nerves, the brain exercises voluntary control over muscular movements. The peripheral nervous system is made up of billions of long neurons, many grouped as nerves, that transmit impulses between the central nervous system and other regions of the body. Sensation begins in specialized nerve endings called receptors. Impulses from the receptors travel along the nerves to the brain, carrying their information. The autonomic system functions automatically, without control of the will, and its primary function is to control the action of the various organs and glands of the body. Besides sending and receiving impulses, the brain exerts ceaseless, automatic control by means of this self-regulating system. Through these nerves, the brain can alter the pace of the heart, influence the rate of breathing, and control the process of digestion and excretion.